Well, I was going to be starting keto, but my friend Michelle, every time we talk on the phone, she used to own a restaurant, so she brings up pasta and lasagna and all that good stuff. So, before I partake in the keto revolution, I'm going to have me a big slice of homemade lasagna, some garlic bread, and I have cake in the oven. <laughs> I'm going to make sure that I carb up before I do this. So... There's my homemade lasagna. Yes, oh my God, I can't wait to eat it. My garlic bread with chives. Yum, 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 yum. So, the next time I talk to Michelle, we're gonna have to talk about something other than pasta and lasagna. <laughs> okay, I'm making a cherry, lime, coconut, oat cake. So basically all you need is that, white cake mix, some cherry jello, lime jello, some sweetened coconut, and some Kool-It. Um, I made the cakes already, because you don't really need to see how to make that. It's on the back. It's water, eggs, and oil. So then you just take your cake mix, and I'm going to use, where'd it go? Hang on. I'm going to use a turkey baster to poke the holes in it. You can space them apart however far you want. Just don't go all the way to the bottom. That one's got quite a bit in there. Do my next one. Just make it easy. Do it all the way around this way. Oops. Get in there. Oops. That's a big hole from when I did my knife test, but oh well, I'll get over it. So then I'm just going to take, I have a measuring cup here. Oops. And right here, I made the cherry jello already. So you just take it in liquid form, add some to your measuring cup, and you just pour. over the cake and try to get it like in the holes as much as possible. I think that one's pretty good. So then I'm going to put this one aside. I'm going to grab my lime jello. I use a different cup for that one. Oops. I love this cake. It's my favorite thing to make in the summer. Besides like a creamsicle and whipped cream cake. But lime cherry and coconut go so great together. Oops. Let me see if they're all soaked in there. Do we have it all? Everything's looking pretty green. I'll do one more once over. Okay, so those are done. And I just have to let them sit in the refrigerator for, I don't know, maybe a half hour. Um, depending on how cold your refrigerator is, mine's really cold. Like if I have anything in the back of my refrigerator, it turns to ice. <laughs> so I'm going to put these in there for about a half hour. 
And then I'm going to take that whip, cool whip, and I'm going to frost both layers on the sides, and I'm going to cover the top with coconut. Oh, and I have a lime in my refrigerator, so I might put lime shavings on there. So I will just put this on hold until I'm done cooling these cakes, and then I'll frost them and show you the end of it. Okay. Houston, we have a problem. I basically broke the cherry one when I was getting it out of the pan. Note to self, don't listen to my advice. Don't, when you do the cakes, take them out of the pan and then poke holes in them, put the jello on it, put it on a plate or something that you can easily remove it off of. Don't keep it in the cake pan because then the jello gets hard and it's hard to get the cake out of the pan. And stupid me should know this, I've made this a million times, but it, I cracked it there. It'll still taste delicious no matter what, but I did the one layer of the Cool Whip, the lime one's on top, and now I'm gonna finish putting Cool Whip on the top of that and adding coconut. Okay, there it is, all frosted. It's looking like a regular cake. Although, I don't like frosting whatsoever. I don't like frosting cakes, but it'll do. If I had pecans, it'd be great to put it on the sides, but I don't, so I'm just gonna put coconut all over the top of this. I should have turned my overhead light on. You can't see anything in my kitchen right now, but there it is. You should let the coconut like sit on there, I don't know, maybe half hour. It actually tastes better overnight in your refrigerator because the coconut will soak up the whipped cream. But I can't wait that long, so I'm going to cut into it ASAP. Because I'm going to be doing the ketogenic diet again. Um, I do low carb right now, but I think I'm going to step it up and do keto. And so I'm going to carb up as much as possible. I made lasagna for dinner. <laughs> I'm having cake. Um, today's Wednesday, and I think I'm going to start on Monday. So, from Wednesday till Monday, I'm carving up on whatever I can get my hands on that I like. It looks good. So I'm going to have some of that, and maybe a cup of coffee. I'll show you a piece when I slice it. That's what it looks like when it's sliced, and I already had to take a bite. It's delicious. You gotta try it. Another thing that goes good instead of this classic white cake mix is if you buy coconut cake mix and then mix it with these flavors. Delicious. So I'm gonna enjoy this and have a cup of coffee.